and gentlemen, I've got to tell you, I'm excited right now. Combat Sports TV, Roland Gomez and Sean Malone, we're just hunkered down right now with like a mule in a hailstorm, baby. We're waiting for it to come right now. We're at the 12th Annual Boxing at the Ballroom. This is Polly Ayala Productions, benefiting Boys and Girls Club of America. You've got to tell me right now, Sean, what is it looking like right here? Well, this event always is, is a favorite, of, a personal favorite of mine. Um, as a media member, I love coming to this event. Not only do you see a, a number of great high-profile fights, especially featuring some of our best and brightest local talent, but you also are here to help support a great cause. Obviously, we're here to raise money for the Boys and Girls Clubs of Greater Fort Worth. Paul Ayala's been, uh, been this, uh, spearheading the boxing portion of this uh, fundraiser mm -hmm. for the last couple of years, and he's never had a bad card. I mean, every card he, he's thrown here at this annual event has been ridiculously good. So I'm excited to see what we have here. Um, we're going to, as you are well aware here at Combat Sports TV, we're going to make sure to give you, the fight fans, the un- Unprecedented access <laughs> to to these fighters and to this event in itself. We are tested and proven warriors. I've got to give a kudos to this man and to me. You stay tuned. You're going to be seeing all of our pre-fight interviews, and you stay tuned and see how this pans out itself. Okay, Roland Gomez, we've got Count Combat Sports TV. We've made our way to the lands of Fort Worth, Cowtown itself. We're here for the 12th annual Boxing at the Ballroom. Right here to my right, you can see no stranger to combat sports itself is none other than Ray Jimenez. This is a pre-fight interview, so we're going to be short, quick, sweet to the point. Ray, how you feeling? I feel good. I feel great. Oh, I tell you what, you look great at the weigh-in. Tell me how it was to make the weight. Was it any problem? No, it wasn't prob any problem at all. It was just, like, natural, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> it's too easy for him. But you know what? I think I've got more butterfly jitters than you do. Now, Ray, right now you are undefeated at 3-0. You, know, you look behind. Here's the team right here, Team X. I always call it Team X. He meant this right here, Dad himself. How about a little close-up on Dad right here? Step back a little bit, Ray. We'll catch Ray Sr. Here we go. We also got Ricky, and we also got Mr. George Godvine back here. Come on back here, champ. Right quick, before you, I want to cut this a little short. Tell me what it's going to take to, to – get a win over this Levez, my guy? We'll really just stick to our, like, game plan and everything we were training and put it in the ring. It's right. like simple. Mm -hmm. It's simple as that. That's what he says. That's why he's undefeated. He knows no defeat. Ray, any last-minute shout-outs right here before we just go ahead and get this interview over with and get you in the ring? Mm, not really just. How about today? Yeah, well, yeah. Uh... <laughs> We had a lot of thing, Ramos Boxing Gym in San Antonio for, yeah. like, you know, helping me with the training camp. My dad for, you know, being there for me. And my uh, and my um, mom, Michelle, thanks for her support. She's not here right now, but, you know, she's still supporting me even though. And just thanks for everything and all the hard work and the payoff in the ring right now. A shout-out to the Rays, Senior, Juniors, and Michelle. Baby, we love you. You keep the best. Well, let me shake your hand, champ. Best of luck, okay? We wish you the best. Stay tuned for Gentlemen, we step up to our next interview right here. I got Angel Solozano. Is that right? Solozano, yes, sir. Okay, he's making his, his pro debut here. We're at Polly Ayala's show here, and this is, again, the 12th Annual Boxing at the Ballroom here in Fort Worth, Texas. We're at August the 19th, Friday night. Tell me how you're feeling right now, Angel. feel good, man. It's been a long time coming, and I'm just ready to show out. I call him an angel himself. He's an angel at heart, baby, but a warrior in the ring. Tell me, you're climbing to the ring right now with a guy by the name of, well, Obalado Torres. Is that his name? I believe so. Okay, okay, okay. And he's making his pro debut as well as you are. He's out of El Paso. You are out of Denton, Texas. But your coach told me something. You've had probably uh, over 100 amateur bouts. Yeah, that was uh, over seven years ago. But, you know, I think it uh, it's going to pay a big dividend here, so. I plan to do good work tonight and put a good show. Well, champ, I got to tell you this. I know that your coach already gave me some sweet information. He said you're looking at trying to make boxing your career. Yeah, I'm going to give it a shot. Oh, that's sweet. That's shot. sweet. I tell you what, this is a man right here who loves boxing, MMA, at its best contact sports, combative sports. Look out there at the, at the uh, fans out here that are looking at you. Tell me what you can tell them right now what's going to happen tonight, what they can, what they can expect from Angel. Uh, just a lot of ammunition, man. Just a lot of, um, I don't know, punches coming at the other guy and hopefully not getting hit. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's a strategy, isn't it? <laughs> yeah, ain't it always. <laughs> well, I tell you what, let's take the camera over here. Coach was so sweet to me. Coach, your name? Uh, Jeff Carter. 
Jeff Carter, I tell you what, he's a uh, calm in the storm right now. I'm not, I'm not taking anything away from Angel. I just wanted to just give you a quick shout out. Well, that's just the way we go with him. He's, he's an even killed kid. Uh, no hate in him at all. Just loves the sport and, and just ready, Love it. just ready to go. Just ready to go. As you can see, ladies and gentlemen, the Warriors that they are in the ring, the gentlemen outside of it. You stay tuned for our next. Now we we'll step up to our next interview. We've got none other than Cody Perez right here getting his hand wraps. Coach himself already making it happen. Cody, how are you feeling right now? Feeling all right. I thought I'd be a little more nervous, but I'm pretty confident and pumped, excited. Well, I tell you what, I'm pumped and excited right now. I'm on my knees right here because you know what? I think you're worthy of a little bow down right now because you're about to crawl in the ring with a guy by the name of Alex Clarkson, right? Yes, sir. Alex uh, Samuel Clarkson from Devil Dogs team. Okay, well, you know, I'm a USA boxing official. I know these guys a little bit more, you know, when they're coming through the amateur ranks. So what is it going to take to take a big W out of here? I'm just going to get out there and do my best. I'm try to keep my jab going and uh, hopefully don't get counted <laughs> and just stay cautious. <laughs> well, I tell you what, Cody is making his pro debut. He is also an MMA fighter. He's fighting out of Fort Worth, Texas. Tell me what we can expect from you tonight. Well, you can expect the war. <laughs> I'm going to <laughs> I'm going to put a show on at least for sure. I tell you what, he's saying it real nice in English. I'm going to tell you in Spanish. Puro chingazos. That's all we're going to see right here, baby. Puro chingazos, okay? Baby, any last minute shout outs? Uh, just God, my family, and my team. That's, that's all I can say. They've been oh. back with me the whole time. Okay, Cody, you're going to find yourself on YouTube with me this time, okay, baby? What do you think? That'll be cool with me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, baby. You stay tuned for You talking about the main event? This right here is a pre-fight main event interview. I've got none other than Samuel, the main event Clarkson right here, better known as Alex. Alex, how you feeling right now? This is your pre pro debut. I mean, I feel overly confident. I'm feeling like I'm going to go in here and just really handle business. Well, I look at you right now. Look at this. Super middleweight. What'd you make weight at? 162. <laughs> oh, baby, look at this. Now, you got to tell Oh, look, he got the main event right here. I know right now he's relaxed right now, but I know inside he has got his work already in order. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm planning on going in there and just exploding on him. I'm going to take a time bomb. I'm going to explode on this guy. Well, I got to tell you right now, ladies and gentlemen, Alex is crawling in the cage. I mean, correct, cage. He's crawling in the ring with a guy by the name of Cody Perez, also making his pro debut just like you. What do you know about him? Nothing. It doesn't matter who he is. <laughs> Well, I just talked to him, Sam. He did tell me he had over 100 amateur bouts, but it's been seven years. What do you think about that? Little ring rust could be there. What do you think? It doesn't matter, does it? He can have 200. I don't care who he is. <laughs> he's not going to beat me. <laughs> okay. Okay, Sam. This is supposed to be a pre-fight interview. I know you're trying to be in your pre-fight uh, warm-up stage. Any last-minute last shout-outs you want to say? Now, I want to shout-out to my team, Team Clarkson, my mom and dad, my grandma, everybody that came to support me, and everybody that doubts me. I'll sit back and watch this year. I'm going to shine. I know I got uh, Coach Christine right here, uh, Lopez right here from Texas Select. Uh, man, I'd, oh, there they are, baby. Both of them right there, Dad and uh, and uh, Christine themselves. Okay, Sam, we're going to go ahead and uh, wrap this one up. I'm going to shake your hand, baby. It's always good to see you. I saw you make, I saw you in the ring as a first-time amateur. Yes, sir. Now I see it as a first-time pro. Yes, sir. Best of luck. You right. stay tuned for our next one. Look at the main event one more time until our next interview. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we step up to what was brewing to be one heck of a bout here. I've got Obando Torres out of El Paso, Texas. He makes his way all the way from El Paso to, da to Dallas. I know not to lose, baby. He wants to disrupt the day. He's going to tear up the day. I've got a feeling. Is that correct? Yes, that's correct. Of? I'm, I'm here to stop, um, I guess, Angel. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. When I'm here to stop Angel. Okay, he's here to stop Angel. I know I get a little close to these fighters because I love them. I love them with all my heart. Obando. Tell me something about your your uh, your humble beginnings. I know this is your pro, de pro debut. Tell me about you as an amateur. Well, I've been uh, doing this for about 10 years. And, I mean, I decided to go pro because that was my dream come true. So that's why I'm here. You know, I'm going to give my 100%, and um, that's it. Okay. Do you know anything about uh, Angel, who you're crawling in the ring with? No, I don't. I just know he's uh, close by here uh, in this area of Fort Worth. That's it. Okay, okay, there's nothing wrong with that. It's why I'm sitting here looking at the North Texas Five fans. Y'all bring the thrill. You bring the action to our hearts. What can we expect tonight from you? Um, I'm going to box them for a while, and then I'm going to stop them. There you go. I love that. It's going to be a knockout, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> <laughs> third, third round. Third round. <laughs> 
Okay, say it one more time. Third round knockout. Third round knockout. Do you hear that, baby? Angel, you're going to sleep, baby. Third round. That's what we're hearing right now. Any closing remarks you want to – any shout-out to the team? I know I've got the team here. Anything you want to say to anybody yeah, that, that got I, you? I just like to thank all my team, uh, Adan Hernandez, everybody here that's, that came with me to support me and my family. That's it. Como Paso. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, you stay tuned as we bring you the next one. These are warriors at heart, like I always say, gentlemen outside. Now, ladies and gentlemen, I've got to tell you, we step up to another interview, a pre-fight interview. I've got none other than Robert Ledesma. He is making his pro debut. He's out of San Antonio, and the big, big kicker here, Roberto, I'm going to ask you, who are you climbing in the ring with? Ray Jimenez. Did you all hear that? Ray Jimenez Jr. Tell me what you know about him. Uh, he's a slick fighter. He went to ringside. He's pretty good. He had a lot of amateur fights, but we're going to stop him tonight. Oh, I love that. I love that. What is it going to take to to stop him uh, from what you know? I mean, not that you're giving me your strategy because it's going to air later, but what is it going to take to stop him? Let him feel the power by the bigger man. <laughs> oh, gee. We're going to give him his first loss tonight. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, now we come up to our female bout here at the Pollyalla Show. We're in the Fort Worth, Cowtown itself. I got a beautiful young lady with me, Jennifer Hunt. Jennifer, how you feeling? This is a pre-fight interview, so I'm not going to take too much time. How you feeling, sweet? I'm feeling good, ready to go. I know right now you have a pro record of two wins against one loss and one draw. You're climbing into the ring with a lady by the name of Lisa Lamb. What do you know about her? Um, I know she's an experienced fighter, and that's about it. Well, what did y'all make weight at? Um, I, I weighed in at 129. She was 131. Okay, okay. Y'all came in, you know, right at what, what the weight that y'all, I think the contract weight was right at 129, 128, or it was 128 plus three pounds? Oh, uh, I guess. Like that. Who knows? Who knows? Yeah. It, it, it 128, but. It, uh, it, it, it doesn't make any difference because, you know what, we've got about here tonight. Yeah. Now, let me tell you, what is it going to take to walk away with a big W? What is it going to take to walk away with a big V out of Cowtown and making your way back to El Paso with a beautiful additional smile to this beautiful face already just fighting my style fighting my fight i love it i love it any closing shout outs to anybody who has helped you get here anybody who is just you know sponsors or anything um i think my coach uh, luigi for making this happen for me and coach marty sanchez for working my corner and everybody back at home i love them they're my family and they support me the best the humbleness in her heart is this ladies and gentlemen as a usa amateur official that I am. I've seen this young lady with a million fights, and I say that tongue-in-cheek, many, many amateur bouts. How many did you have? Over 100. <laughs> I remember, and she has a lot of, lot of titles under her belt. Now, as we bring this one to a close, I just tell you to stay tuned. We wish you the best of luck. Let me shake that beautiful hand, and we wish you the best of luck. Stay tuned for our next one. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we step up to the other half of our female bout. We just got through talking to Jennifer Hahn. Now we make our way over to Miss Lisa Lamb at 6-5-1. Lisa, how you feeling? This is a pre-fight interview. Oh, I'm feeling good. I'm, I'm great. I'm well rested and ready to do this. You know, these are the only type of interviews I like to get real closer to the females. The guys, I, I don't like them as much, but right here, the reason we're here, we're just trying to get aesthetically correct, but I'm close and I can feel that you are feeling hot. Of course. <laughs> I look hot. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> okay. Now, let me tell you. I know you're fighting out of Fort Worth. You're fighting uh, Jennifer Hahn. What is it going to take to win this bout? Man, just take it to her. That's, that's all I can say. I have a plan. I just got to stick with it. Okay, ladies and gentlemen. I'm going to give her the last few words right here. Any quick shout-outs to anybody? Yeah, of course. Um, my husband, Darren Lamb, my brother, Johnny Lozano, and my brother-in-law, Raymond Lamb, who's working my corner. Shout-out to Alex Madrid, and um, good luck to Jennifer Hahn. Ladies and gentlemen, what else needs to be said? She wrapped it all up. RTV, our new correspondent right here. After she walks out of here, guess what? She's going to be picking up, picking up the camera. That's right. So after my fight, I will be interviewing other fighters. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for our next one. Thank you.